All right, for tax year 2023, the deduction for moving expenses is generally no longer available to most taxpayers due to changes enacted by the Tax Cuts and Job Act. So you're probably going to get questions about this because this is one of those things that people have in their mind and has more recently been changed. That being, if I'm going from one job to another job, uh, do I get a tax benefit for the move? It used to be the case that you might get a tax benefit, but they basically almost entirely remove that having an exception possibly like for uh, the military. So that's probably could come up if someone's changing jobs or thinking about changing jobs and they still have that in their mind. So however, if you are a member of the armed forces and active duty and you move because of a permanent change of station, you may still uh, be eligible for deduct uh, certain moving expenses. So remember that the military is often having exemptions. So you want to make sure that uh, when you're dealing with people in the military, it might be a more uh, place to specialize because there's a lot of differences in the code related to it. Uh, el eligible moving expenses for qualified armed forces members include shipping and storage costs for household goods and personal effects, as well as travel, lodging, excluding meals and gas costs associated with the move. These expenses can be reported using form 3903. So it's important to note that reimbursements from your employer for any moving expenses are reported on this form as well. And if the reimbursement exceeds your out-of-pocket expenses, the excess must be claimed as taxable income. In other words, 